go back to my house and just cram all night. And you can stay over two if you want, so that way we can study in the morning before class. How does that sound? I can't. What do you mean you can't? This final's gonna be huge. I'll talk about this all week. I know. I know. I just think I want to study on my own this time. But we always study together. It's so much easier when we study together. We do so much better. I know, but the truth is, some other kids already asked me for help, and I think I'm going to help them, if that's okay. What kids? Trisha and Jill. Trisha and Jill? They're total partiers. They're not that bad. Well, I guess you could tell them to come over to my house, and we can form a study group. No, because Jill already invited me to her house, and it's just going to be the perfect study combination. Full fridge, empty house, it's going to be great. So can I come? I don't know. I mean, they only kind of gave an invitation to me. They didn't say if anyone else could come or not. Well, they know we're good friends, and I can help them study too. Like, I've always thought they were kind of, I don't know, like, weird, standoffish, I guess. But, I mean, if you say they're okay, then why not? Why not? It's because they invited me, not you. Invited? You're just helping them study, right? It's not like you're going to party. It's a party? You're going to a party the night before the biggest test of our lives? Are you out of your mind? No, Kristen. Actually, I think I'm thinking clearly for the first time in my life. What are you talking about? My life is so dull and boring. I always do the right thing. I get good grades, I have nice friends, blah, blah, blah. So what if I take one night to not study for a test that won't even matter 10 years from now? I mean, really. Like, I deserve to have a little bit of fun here, and I probably will do fine on it without studying. The idea of fun is to hang out with Trish and Jill, and who knows who else in their trashy little clique. They're total potheads, Dusty. Are you gonna smoke just so you can be cool? Just because you're bored with your life? You're crazy. You're blowing off everything you worked so hard to achieve. Thanks for the lecture, Mom. Look, Kristen, I don't need you telling me what to do. I already get enough of that at home. I think you're just jealous because they didn't invite you. I mean, I guess they know a dweeb when they see one. Very funny. I can't believe we're doing this. It's my decision to make. I don't need your approval to do what I want. If you don't, I mean, I've been your friend since first grade, but obviously you don't need me anymore. Now that you've got newer, hipper friends to hang out with. I just want to make a change. Why can't you see that? Aren't you bored of doing the same thing every day? The same people, the same conversations? Sometimes I just feel like I want to lose my mind. No, Destiny, I'm not bored. I like my life, I like my friends, and if I decided I wanted to make a change, I would choose to hang out with a bunch of stoners the night of a very big test. Now, you're making a huge mistake, and I don't care if you're angry at me for saying so. I guess I'll see you tomorrow, and I guess, have fun, I guess. I'm sure I will. I can party and get the grades. Who says I can't have it all? Don't stay up too late studying. You've got to be kidding me. I'll be amazed if you show up.